A nuclear reactor produces and controls the release of energy from splitting the atoms of certain elements. In the nuclear power reactor, the energy released is used as heat to make steam to generate electricity. Nuclear energy is the only large-scale carbon-free electricity source that the country can widely expand to produce large amount of electricity. Nuclear power plant prevents the release of significant quantities of emission that will be created by burning fossil fuel to generate the same amount of electricity. Hinkley Point C first nuclear reactor is built and ready to be delivered. The reactor pressure vessel is the first to be built for a British power station for more than 30 years. It was built in France by nuclear engineering company Framatome and is due to arrive to the Bridgewater site at some point in 2023. The 13-meter tall, high-strength steel cylinder weighs in at 500 tons and will hold the nuclear fuel and house the chain reaction that generates heat. Once in use, its core will have an average temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. The heat will be used to create high pressure stream that will power some of the world's largest turbines. The Framatome team spent 80,000 engineering hours on its construction. A second reactor is due to be built and once installed, they are together expected to power around 3 million homes. A spokeswoman for the site's operator, EDF Energy, said. They are designed to run continuously for 18 months at a time between refueling. Framatome built the last nuclear reactor to be installed in Britain. Size will be in Suffolk, which is also run by EDF. Since becoming operational in 1991, Size will be has provided 247 terawatt hours of power according to the energy company. The company said this was enough power to run every home in Britain for two and a half years. The building to house the reactor is still being built. The building now stands at 44 meter high. Power generation at Hinkley Point C is expected to start in June 2027, two years later than planned. Thousands of workers across Britain are working hard to get Hinkley Point C built. They know its reliable, low-carbon nuclear electricity is essential for our energy security. Hinkley Point C is making incredible progress in terms of construction but we are also making sure the project benefits people in the southwest and beyond. The benefits range from increasing local employment to the development of sustainable regional supply chain and the advancement of new training facilities and qualifications. Hinkley Point C contribution to fighting climate change means that during its 60 years of operation, it will have a large positive impact on the environment. Sustainability and environmental protection are also key features in the construction itself. New techniques are being used while a team of environmental specialists are helping to enhance local biodiversity and habitats, supporting nature to thrive on land that had been intensively used in agriculture. The power plant is still under construction 
with plans to be commissioned in June 2027. When complete, its two pressurized water reactors will provide a total of 3200 megawatts of electrical capacity. The UK currently has 5883 megawatt of operating nuclear capacity. The power station at Hinkley Point C is a statement of the UK's commitment to nuclear power, Mr. Grossi said. When completed, it will make a significant contribution to the country's climate ambitions and ensure greater energy security in the UK. Hinkley Point C was announced by the government in 2010 and when complete will offset 600 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions over its 60-year lifetime, according to EDF Energy. The plant is being built beside the sites of Hinkley Point A and Hinkley Point B, two nuclear power stations that have been permanently shut down and are being decommissioned. The government estimates that the Hinkley top of payments will cost consumers around 30 billion euro over the course of the 35-year contract. Some 4.2 meter tons of earth will need to be moved around the 430 acre site. The 6.5 kilometer perimeter fence is now complete with around 12,000 trees to screen local villages including one called Certain and one called Burton. A digger that can fill a 100-ton dumper truck in three bucket scoops. One bucket was replaced recently and that cost 70,000 euro. We hope that this will be the last nuclear reactor built in Britain, Alan Jeffrey said as seagulls screamed far above Hinkley Point C. Anything else is madness. Nuclear power has one of the smallest carbon footprints. It's one of the answers to the energy gap. It's essential to our response to climate change and greenhouse gas emission. Thanks for watching this video till the end and do subscribe to the channel to get the latest update on construction videos around the world.